yes a very good morning to all of you so open page number 15 so today we would be discussing this chapter the browning version i hope you all have your books with you you having your books yes ma'am yes ma'am okay good so this uh, yes. chapter the browning version it has been written by terence rattigan and uh, terence rattigan the author he is one of england's most popular mid 20th century dramatists so this is just an excerpt the scene is set in a school it is a boys school and frank is young frank is a teacher he is a very young teacher and crocker harris is middle aged another teacher crocker harris both are masters taplow is a boy of 16 he is a teenager 16 years old who has come in to do extra work for crocker harris but the letter has not yet arrived who has not arrived what do you mean by letter who has not arrived crocker harris yes crocker harris has not yet arrived he is still not there and frank finds taplo waiting so frank comes in and uh, even though he is not his uh, teacher a conversation starts up between the two and so as we would read on you would understand about the characteristics of crocker harris even though he doesn't appear in this scene this is just a part of the entire play browning version and the reference it is to the play of robert browning's translation of the greek tragedy agamemnon so this was the tragedy out of which this extract this excerpt has been taken so we would read about this okay so there's a conversation between two one is frank frank is a young teacher he is a science teacher and student is taplo who is a 16 year old boy do i know you no sir what's your name taplo taplo no i don't you're not a scientist i gather what what does he mean by this when he says you're not a scientist what does he mean that he was not a science student yes, that he was not a science student no sir i'm still in the lower fifth i can't specialize until next term that is to say if i've got my remove all right here remove means He says, "If I get my remove, only then." Result. I would. Yes. What is remove? Result. Result. Yes. So if I would be promoted to the next class, only then I can take up science. And if I get good grades, this is uh, that is what he means. Don't you know if you if you've got your remove? No, sir. Mr. Crocker Harris doesn't tell us the results like other masters. So underline this. One of the important characteristics of the teacher Crocker Harris is he doesn't tell us the results like the other master. That means he is. uh not the one who would compromise on the rules and regulations of the school so if the rule says that the form results would be declared only on the last day of the term then he would declare it only then why not well you know sir what he's like sir i believe there is a rule that form results should only be announced by the headmaster on the last day of the term so even frank who is a teacher he also knows this fact that the results are to be announced only by the headmaster and that also on the last day of the term Yes, but who else pays attention to it except Mr. Crocker Harris? So no other teacher of the school pays attention to this rule that the results have to be declared on the last day. I don't. I admit. So even the teacher Frank, he admits that he doesn't follow the rules. But that's no criterion. So if you've got to wait until tomorrow to know your fate, have you? So what does he mean by this line? You've got to wait until tomorrow to know your fate. Somebody apart from Mehak. He is not the only one attending the class. There are more than fifty students present here. Each and every one has to participate. You know, not to just sit passively and listen as if it's some storytelling session going on. Somebody else apart from Mehak. What does he mean when he says this? So you've got to wait until tomorrow to know your fate. Have you? What does he mean by this? Very simple. From that, he has to wait for his result for tomorrow. Yes, that he has to wait till tomorrow to know what his fate, what his future would be. So only if he he would get good grades, he would take up science. Yes, sir. Supposing the answer is favorable, what then? Oh, science, sir. Of course. And Frank says very sadly, yes, we get all the slackers. What do you understand by slackers? What are slackers? Slow learners. Yes. Come now. What does that mean? I'm a person who usually avoids work. A person who usually avoids work, some kind of a lazy kind of a person. Yes. So he says, and he says, no, sir. I'm extremely interested in science. So he says it is not that uh, 
I'm just taking it uh, science. I'm taking science for the sake of taking it. I am interested in that space. So that is why I want to opt for science. Are you? I am not. Not at least in the science I have to do. So the teacher admits that he's take, he's teaching one particular subject, one particular stream that is science, but he himself is not interested in teaching that uh, stream. Well, anyway, sir, it's a good deal more exciting than this muck. So he refers to he indicates towards a book and he says this is muck. What is muck? Something dirty. Something dirty. Something which we don't like. Something which is unpleasant. So he he refers to a book and he says this is muck. What is this muck? Ashila, sir, the Agamemnon. And your considered view is that Agamemnon is muck. You say this classic tragedy. Do you call it? You call, you're calling it muck. You're calling it dirt. You're calling it un, something unpleasant. And he says, well, no, sir. I don't think the play is muck. Exactly, I suppose in a way it's. A rather a good plot. So he says the plot is a good one. A wife murdering her husband and all that. I only meant the way it's taught to us. Just a lot of Greek words strung together and 50 lines if you get them wrong. He says I'm not saying that the content is not good. The content is very good. I like the plot and everything but I don't like the way it is being taught to us. And what is the way? How they are being taught? You know there are so many of Greek words which are uh, just put into their head and if they don't follow them, they have to do what? They have to, as a kind of a punishment, they have to write 50 lines. You know, so that is the thing. So he says, it is the entire thing, the manner in which it is taught, it is very taxing, it is very tiring and it is very boring. You sound a little bitter, Taplo. I am rather, sir. Captain, what does he mean when he says Captain. Man to make someone stay at the place or to work extra? Yes, to work extra as a kind of a punishment. You know, uh, are you being made to stay back in school for some kind of an extra work? No, sir, extra work. Extra work on the last day of the school. Since today, today is the last day of the school. Tomorrow the form result will be declared. So, are you being made to stay back at school on the last day of the term? Yes, sir. And I might be playing balls. You'd think he'd had enough to do anyway himself, considering he's leaving tomorrow for good. But oh no, I missed a day last week when I was ill, so here I am. And look at the weather. So he says, look at the weather outside, it's so pleasant. And I would be playing golf at this time. I could have been playing golf, but look at this, the kind of teacher we are having, Crocker Harris. You would be considering he's leaving tomorrow for good. So he's leaving school tomorrow. And uh, today is the last day of the teacher. But still, he's asked me to stay back for extra work. And that too, for one day, which I had uh, missed because I was not well. Because I was ill. And one day, I was ill. And as a kind of a punishment, he's asked me to stay back. I was ill. Bad luck. Still, there's one comfort. You are pretty well certain to get your remove tomorrow for being a good boy and taking extra work. Get the TK, then that this would work in your favor. How would it work in your favor? Kaise aapke favor mein hoga you? That if you're staying back for school, but he will get good result. Yes, he would get good result, and why would he get good result? Because he's staying back for doing extra work on the last day of the term. Okay, who last day pe bad ke extra work kar raha hai, to shayad usko impress ho gaye teacher, achhi grades de well, sir, I am not sure. That would be true of the ordinary master. Koi or teacher hota, to aisa hi karta ho. They just wouldn't dare not to give a chap a remove after his taking extra work. So no teacher would have had the courage to not give good grades to a student uh, who is not uh, who is doing extra work on the last day of the school. But those sort of rules don't apply to the croc, Mr. Crocker Harris. But these are the rules. Hai, Ye Crocker Harris, who is a teacher, he does not apply He is not that kind of a teacher. I asked him yesterday outright if he had given me a remove and do you know what he said, sir? I asked him yesterday that he gave me good grades. How did he give me grades? Diye? And what was his response? Said, no, what? So he imitates a very gentle and rather thodi, very heavy voice, very husky voice, but in a very, gently, uh, uh, in a very gentle manner. He imitates his teacher. My dear Taplo, I have given you exactly what you deserve. No less and certainly no more. Jitna tum deserve karte ho, utne maine tumhe grades diye hai. Now says come, now says Zara. Do you know sir, I think he may have marked me down rather than up for taking extra work. 
I mean the man's hardly human. I feel this teacher doesn't have any feelings, any human feelings for anyone. For you know, because I feel that for if I've taken some extra work, if I'm do, uh, sitting down for doing extra work, he may have given me less grades rather than giving me more grades. Okay, मुझे कम marks दे देंगे वो ज़्यादा नहीं देंगे मुझे तो ऐसा ही लगता है. Because the man is hardly human and he breaks off quickly. Sorry, sir. Have I gone too far? What does he mean by this? Have I gone too far? Have I, have I exaggerated? Yes, have I just exaggerated? And he is saying all these things in front of another teacher, who is Mr. Cropper Harris's colleague. ठीक है उनके कलीग के सामने वो एक किसी टीचर के बारे में ऐसे बोल रहा है तो वो बोलते हैं कि मैंने कुछ ज़्यादा ही तो नहीं बोल दिया. Yes, much too far. Sorry, sir, I got carried away. I got carried away means I just got I lost self control. Yeah, I lost. Was emotional. Yes, I got emotional. So in my emotions, I just spoke all these things which maybe I shouldn't have. Said, okay. Evidently, he picks up a newspaper and opens it. A tableau. Yes, sir. What was that? Crocker Harris said to you. Just repeat it, would you? So look at the kind of a teacher Frank is. He's encouraging a student of his colleague to imitate him. ठीक है एक बार वो imitate कर चुका है उसकी copy कर चुका है मगर वो Frank ऐसा teacher है कि वो उसको encourage कर रहा है कि दोबारा नकल उतार दो मतलब और उसको मतलब ऐसे ऐसे एक newspaper पकड़ के कह रहा है तुमने क्या बोला कैसे बोला Crocker Harris ने क्या बोला तुम्हें And he again imitates, and he says, "My dear Taplo, I have given you exactly what you deserve, no less, and certainly no more. Not in the least like him." Abu Jan he says, "No, no, no, no. As as if he doesn't really say it. So he very strictly he says, 'Read your nice essays and be quiet.' Come on, come on, book, read. So he just wants to you know, change the subject now. Okay, Abu Jan, book, read. Leave this thing. And he says, 'Essays, do I have to read this? Look, what time did Mr. Cropper Harris tell you to be here? How many times did he tell you?'" कितने टाइम पे बोला था इट वाज सिक्स थर्टी वेल ही टेन मिनट्स लेट व्हाई डोंट यू कट यू कुड स्टिल प्ले गोल्फ बिफोर लॉकअप तो बोलते हैं कि दस मिनट ऊपर हो चुके हैं इट्स ऑलरेडी सिक्स फोर्टी व्हाई डोंट यू कट व्हाट यू मीन बाय दिस व्हाई डोंट यू कट व्हाई डोंट यू प्ले प्ले मैक What is what is it? And that he he could leave and play golf. Yes, still he could leave and he could play golf. And he says, Oh no, I couldn't cut. Cut the crock, Mr. Crocker Harris. I can never ever dare to bunk the class when Mr. Crocker Harris has asked me to stay back for extra work because we no child can ever do that. I shouldn't think it's ever been done in the whole time he's been here. So this particular teacher, Mr. Crocker Harris, has been here in this school for so many years, and no child, I don't think any child has ever dared, has ever had the courage to. बंक हिस्स क्लास अगर उन गुरु ने ऑर्डर दिया है कि आपको एक्स्ट्रा वर्क के लिए रुकना है तो आपको रुकना ही पड़ेगा किसी बच्चे में इतनी हिम्मत नहीं कि वो ऐसा कर पाए गॉड नोज वॉट वुड हैपन इफ एड इट सो ही सो स्केयर ही सेज कि पता नहीं भगवान ही जानते हैं वो क्या करेंगे अगर ऐसा कभी हो जाएगा ही इट प्रॉब्लम फॉलो मी होम शायद मेरा पीछा पीछा करते करते घर तक आ जाए और समथिंग मैं सोच भी नहीं सकता कि क्या होगा आई मस्ट एडमिट आई एन वी द इफेक्ट ही सीन्स टू हैव ऑन यू बॉयज इन द फॉर्म सेज दट दिस पर्टिकुलर टीचर फ्रैंक इज जेलस ऑफ प्रॉपर हैरस मुझे तो जेलसी हो रही है आई एन वी हेम फॉर द काइंड ऑफ इफेक्ट ही हैज ऑन द चिल्ड्रेन कि बच्चों के ऊपर इतना असर है उनका इतना डरते हैं यू नो यू ऑल सीम केयर टू डेथ ऑफ हेम इतना डरते हो तुम लोग वॉट डज ही डू क्या करते हैं कि तुम इतना डरते हो डज ही बीच यू और समथिंग गुड लॉर्ड नो ही इज नॉट अ सेडेस्ट लाइक वन और टू ऑफ दी अदर्स वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई दिस टर्म सेडेस्ट इट इज रेज योर हैंड्स इट इज नॉट दैट एवरी टाइम द सेम स्टूडेंट्स हैव टू आंसर इन द क्लास वॉट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई सेडेस्ट Who's the sadist? Ma'am, may I? Yes. Anji, bolo. One who takes pleasure of others. Who takes pleasure of others? How? Ma'am, may I? Yes, come. Ma'am, may I? Ma'am, a person who gets happy by giving some of the other person pain. <laughs> yes, a person who gets happy, who derives pleasure out of inflicting pain on others. When somebody is in pain. person uh, you know is happy or is pleased by inflicting pain on others dekhiye kisi ko torture karne mein yes a man who takes pleasure in torturing others kisi ko torture karke maar ke pain leke khushi mile so that is a sadist he says i beg your pardon a sadist sir is someone who gets pleasure out of giving pain so when frank uh, says i beg your pardon he doesn't mean that he wants to know the meaning of who a sadist is उसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि मुझे सेडिस नहीं पता मुझे सेडिस का मीनिंग बताओ इन डीड वो और टेपलो को लगता है कि शायद वो पूछ रहा है 
कि सेडिस्ट कौन होता है सो ही गिव्स ऑन ही गोज ऑन टू डिफाइन हु अ सेडिस्ट इज ही सेज इन डीड वो कहता है कि अच्छा मुझे तो ये पता ही नहीं था बट आई थिंक यू वेंट ऑन टू से दैट सम अदर मास्टर्स व्हाट ही इज इंक्वायरिंग इज फ्रैंक क्या पूछना चाह रहा है उससे व्हाट इज द टीचर इंक्वायरिंग फ्रॉम हिम क्या पूछ रहा है व्हाट इज मैम अबाउट टीचर ये जॉय ऑफ द द टीचर he's 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 just he's just curious he's just inquisitive and he wants to know about those teachers who are sadists theek hai he says you went on to say that some other masters well of course sir they are i won't mention names but you know them as well as i do kehta aapko bhi pata hai mujhe bhi pata hai i'm not going to tell their names in front of you because you are also a teacher of our school to main aapko naam nahi bataunga par aapko bhi malum hai of course i know most masters think we boys don't understand a thing But sir, you are different. आप अलग हो Why are you different? Because you are young, and you are comparatively, you know, younger than many of the others. And you teach science. You must know what sadism is. आपको तो पता ही होगा. Good Lord, what are our schools coming to? अब उसके सामने बोला अच्छा है हमारे schools का इतना बुरा हाल है. Teachers बच्चों को torture करते हैं. मुझे तो पता ही नहीं था. Anyway, the crock isn't a sadist. So he calls the te- the students call Mr. Crocker Harris as crock. Says he is not a sadist. That's what I'm saying. He wouldn't be so frightening if he were, because at least it would show he had some feelings. वो बोलते हैं इससे अच्छा जैसे वो अब हैं, इससे अच्छा तो वो sadist होते तो ज़्यादा अच्छे होते, ठीक है? क्योंकि अगर वो sadist होते तो at least कुछ तो feelings उनकी show होती ना. But he hasn't. He doesn't have any feelings. He is all shriveled up inside like a nut. जैसे nut के अंदर बिल्कुल जैसे सिकुड़ा बैठा है अंदर, ठीक है? बिल्कुल वैसे हैं. And he seems to hate people to like him. स्क्वीज्ड लाइक अ नट और उनको अच्छा नहीं लगता है जब उनको ये लग पता चलता है कि बच्चे उनको पसंद करते हैं ही सीम्स टू हेट ऑल दोज पीपल हु लाइक हिम इट्स फनी कहते हैं कितनी फनी बात है आई डोंट नो एनी अदर मास्टर हु डजेंट लाइक बीइंग लाइक्ड और मुझे अपने स्कूल में ऐसा कोई टीचर नहीं पता ठीक है एक्सेप्ट फॉर प्रॉपर हैरिस जिनको ये पसंद ना हो कि बच्चे उनको पसंद करें एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स दैट दिस स्टूडेंट शुड लाइक दैम पर ये प्रॉपर हैरिस ऐसे नहीं है and i don't know any boy who doesn't use that for his own purposes what does he mean he means to say that agar agar teacher ko acha lagta hai ki bachche unko pasand kare to bachche bhi is cheez ka bahut fayda uthate hain theek hai they they flatter the teacher they keep keep on you know buttering the teacher and they use it for their own purposes well it's natural sir but not with the boy they do natural hai theek hai but this is not the thing which happens which can ever happen with mr crocker harris mr crocker harris says don't keep on saying you know don't keep on referring to him as mr prof mr prof time and again you keep just have some uh, respect for your teacher and call him by his name mr crocker harris mr crocker harris the funny thing is that in spite of everything i do rather like him so underline this this is very important in spite of the fact that he's a strict disciplinarian in spite of the fact that he's he doesn't uh, you know crack any funny joke jokes with the class in spite of the fact that he follows all the rules and regulations he doesn't declare the result on uh, you know the uh, four time i rather like him okay i can't help it i don't i don't know why but i i can't help it i have a kind of a liking for my teacher and sometimes i think he sees it aur kabhi kabhi unko is cheez ka ehsaas ho jata hai that this particular child likes me and that seems to shrivel him up even more so he doesn't you know he doesn't let his emotions come out who doesn't let his emotions come out mr crocker harris and he just gets squeezed up he just gets shrivels up i'm sure you are exaggerating nahi nahi tum to aur mujhe lagta hai bada chada ke bol rahe ho no sir i am not in form the other day he made one of his classical jokes bolta hai nahi nahi aisa kuch nahi hai pichle din thode din pehle ki main aapko ek incident batata hu he made a joke he cracked a joke in the class of course nobody laughed because nobody understood so it was a poor joke Uh, nobody laughed. Okay, it, what happened in the class? He cracked. He made one of his classical jokes. Nobody laughed. Why didn't anybody laugh? Because nobody understood. Myself included. Even I did not understand. You know what the joke was all about. Still, I knew he had meant it as funny, so I laughed out of ordinary common politeness and feeling a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke. So why did I laugh? Because out of courtesy. 
because the teacher had cracked a joke and nobody understood and nobody laughed so i was feeling sorry for him mujhe bura laga ki unhone jo class mein sunaya koi bhi hansa nahi so out of courtesy out of politeness i just laughed now i can't remember what the joke was because i did not comprehend it mujhe samajh hi nahi aaya tha to mujhe yaad nahi hai wo joke kya tha but suppose i make it now you laugh sir because you let me imitate my teacher main unki copy karta hu i suppose i am from the heavens and you are tapu ठीक है सो जस्ट बिहेव एज इफ आई हैव टैक्ड अ जोक एंड यू आर लाफिंग सो टैपलो इमिटेट्स इज टीचर एंड ही सेज टैपलो यू लाफ्ट एट माई लिटल जोक आई नोटिस आई मस्ट कन्फेस दैट आई एम प्लीज एट द एडवांस योर लेटन हैज मेड सिंस यू सो रेडली हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट द रेस्ट ऑफ द फॉर्म रेड नो दिस इज आई एम वेरी इम्प्रेस्ड नो बडी फ्रॉम द क्लास वुड अंडरस्टैंड माई जोक बट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट सो आई एम यू नो काइंड ऑफ ग्रेटली इम्प्रेस्ड by the kind of advance your latin has made theek hai tumhare ko itni achhi latin aa gayi ki tumhe mere joke samajh mein aane shuru ho gaye perhaps now you would be good enough to explain it to them theek hai ab class ke samne aao aur sabko joke sunao jo tumhe samajh mein aaya so that they too can share your pleasure but this is what he did the door upright is pushed open and millie crocker harris enters now who is millie crocker harris she is mr crocker harris's wife and now they are इंगेज इन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ कॉन्वर्सेशन टैपलो इज इमिटेटिंग हिस्स टीचर ठीक है उसी के हस्बैंड मिली क्रॉक हेरस के हस्बैंड की वो कॉपी कर रहा है फ्रैंक वहाँ पे सुन रहा है और वो वहाँ पे आ गई है शी इज अ थिन वोमन इन हर लेट थर्टीज रादर मोर स्मार्टली ड्रेस दैन अ जनरल रन ऑफ स्कूल मास्टर्स वाइज तो बाकी स्कूल मास्टर्स की जो वाइज है उनसे ज़्यादा थोड़ी स्मार्ट है शी इज स्मार्टली ड्रेस्ड अप शी इज वेरिंग अ केप एंड कैरी इज अ शॉपिंग बास्केट शी क्लोज द डोर एंड देन स्टैंड बाय द स्क्रीन वॉचिंग टैपलो एंड फ्रैंक इट इज़ अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स बिफोर दे नोटिस हर ठीक है उनको अभी दिखाई नहीं दिया वो बिकॉज दे सो बिजी इन एन एक्टिंग दैट यू नो कॉपिंग क्रोक हैरिस कम अलॉन्ग टैपलो एंड फ्रैंक इज अगेन इनकरेजिंग हिम ही मूव स्लोली ऑन द डेस्ट डो नॉट बी सो सेल्फिश एज टू कीप अ गुड जोक टू योर सेल्फ टेल दी अदर्स ठीक है ठीक है सुनाओ बताओ सो ही इज जस्ट इमिटेटिंग द टीचर एंड ही जस्ट सडनली ब्रेक्स ऑफ एंड नोटिस इज मिली ओ लॉर्ड फ्रैंक टर्नस क्विकली एंड सीम्स इनफाइनाइटली रिलीव्ड एट सीन मिली ओ हलो without expression hello she comes down to the sideboard and pulls a basket on it do you think she heard so fra- taplo is now becoming very frantic what is frantic he asks frank frantically what is frantic frank me sanya type the answer desperately you know yes desperately he gets very restless and got nervous hai ki pata nahi agar unhone sun liya ye bata denge to and uh, frank shakes his head comfortably he said i think she did matlab bahut der se yahan pe khadi thi she was standing there quite a time if she did and she tells me there goes my remains to wo kya bolta hai ki agar unhone sun liya hai aur wo kisko bata dengi proper harris ko to mere to result ka ho gaya aisa ho gaya aise aise theek hai nonsense he says nahi nahi aisa kuch nahi hoga mary takes the basket from the sideboard he moves around the table and puts the basket on it uh, waiting for my husband Yes, he's at the buses and he might be there quite a time. If I were you, I'd go. मतलब कि वो अभी तुमको थोड़ा time लग जाएगा. मैं तुम्हारी जगह पे होती, तो मैं तो चली जाती. He said most particularly, I was to come. मतलब नहीं मैं नहीं जा सकता. उन्होंने कहा था कि मुझे आना ही आना है. Well, why don't you run away for a quarter of an hour? मतलब कि पंद्रह मिनट के लिए जाओ और वापस आ जाओ. ठीक है? तो तुम जाके वापस आ जाओ. and uh, she unpacks some things from the basket supposing he gets woh itna darta hai woh bolta hai ki mujhse pehle woh aa gaye to he she says smiling i'll take the blame i'm going to take the blame on, on myself theek hai main blame apne upar le lungi and then she hands him a prescription i tell you what you can do a job for him unke liye kaam kar sakte ho aur woh kaam kya hai take this prescription to the chemist and get it made up theek hai ek prescription hai ye chemist ke paas le jao aur ye dawaiyan la do all right mrs rocker harris and he crosses towards the door up so he goes away and uh, uh, milly crocker harris and frank are left there alone so this is just see i told you the browning version is just a part of the entire play this is only one scene that uh, is there in your syllabus otherwise the play is a very long one and it is considered to be one of the finest plays that uh, terence rettigan had written okay so here in we get to know about uh, the entire character sketch of uh, mr crocker harris is painted even though he doesn't appear, uh, uh, doesn't appear especially in this scene for a thing 
single moment. Okay, so in their case, we all know that we also get to know about Frank, who, as his name is, is very frank with his very friendly with the students, unlike Mr. Proper Harris. So there are four main characters in this uh, uh, play. One is Frank, one is Taplo, one is Proper Harris, and one is Millie Proper Harris. Okay, so next time we meet, we will discuss about four uh, personalities. Four uh, character sketches, and also we will discuss various questions related to this chapter. Questions and extra questions. Have you followed this chapter? The Browning's only. Okay, good. So please uh, go through it and so that the next time we meet, we can discuss the question answers and extra questions. So let me move on to the attendance part for the time being. 